Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so example five here. And so this time we're evaluating and simplifying the difference quotient for this function f of x equals one over x. And in doing so, as per promise, I'm departing from polynomials, which we've been dealing with in examples one through four. But I do hope that you've watched one of the uh, examples one through four, because uh, I want to be able to assume that you know what to expect a little. Uh, but in any case, f of x plus h is pretty obvious. Uh, in this case uh, as being 1 over x plus h and so then f of x plus h minus f of x will be this expression here and as soon as we see this expression we reckon that uh, the denominators are not the same and therefore we need common denominators and the way we're going to do that is uh, to multiply uh, this here top and bottom by uh, x and to multiply this here top and bottom by x plus h and if you do that then you'll have this now um, look here, the denominators are clearly the same. Uh, if you use uh, the uh, commutative property of multiplication on this, you'll get it to look like that, right? Okay, so the denominators are the same, so we can write one denominator. So then all we have left to do is subtract the numerators. Now what's very important is that uh, you recognize that this minus sign applies to everything in the numerator of this second fraction. And by fraction, I mean a rational expression. A fraction with variables is called a rational expression, in case you don't know. In any case, this minus sign has to be distributed to both of these guys, is what I'm saying. Uh, and if you do that correctly, then you'll have this. Obviously, x minus x is 0. So in the numerator, you'll just have a minus h. And in the denominator, well, the denominator is the denominator. Um, we've got a common denominator, and we're happy with it. Yeah? OK, cool. Now, look here. This here is a simplified version of f of x plus h minus f of x after we got common denominators. In other words, it is, this here, is f of x plus h minus f of x. So to finish off with our difference quotient, all we have left to do is divide this here by h. And when we do that, uh, we'll get this. Specifically, we get this. This is just our difference quotient, right? So we get this. And this will turn to the following. Uh, if you don't know why, then you can ask me questions in the comments section. But yeah, this here uh, turns into this wherein we uh, cross out this h and that h, right? And so then we just have a negative 1 in the numerator. This h is gone from the denominator. And this is our final answer, yeah? OK, cool. Um, a very different looking example 6 to come and even more different looking example 7 to follow. Um, so keep watching and keep an eye out. Take care.